Now we're ready to start one of the text types. We'll start with narrative. This is the first te text type lesson, and the format of this lesson is re lesson is re We have our title page, followed by an explanation of what a narrative is, the basic structure that forms, forms a complication, a sequence, a resolution, and an optional comment. This is followed then by an example. The orientation is young Beryl Treadwater, who's playing underground ping pong with her friend. The complication is that Beryl loses her footing and catapults down a mine shaft. The sequence of events of the search party is looking high and low. The resolution, Beryl was found. And comment, everyone applauded when Beryl accepted the cup. Next we move to a stormy warning, which is a passage for students to read and to answer questions. In the next worksheet, students are then asked to identify the, the orientation, the complication, sequence of events, resolution, and final comment from the passage that they just read. Organising a narrative. In this case, we have to drag into the correct spots what the complication is, the sequence of events. So we'll start with the complication, which is Tim has to take his medicine. The first sequence of events of events room and get medicine and a spoon. Call my little brother. Ask him politely. Please open his mouth. He refuses to do it. So, so he will tell Mum. No, not so. Tim clenches his teeth. Then we threaten Tim. Tim then opens his mouth and we quickly slip the spoon into his mouth. Another ex another ex where we look at the senses again. In this case, we have the visual of the motor cars themselves. We have the mechanics, we have the starter, we have air choked and the smell of petrol fumes and burning rubber, the vibrating ground. You have to shout to be heard. Then we have a complication. The car engine explodes. Now it's the student's turn. Students are asked, in this case, to draw from their own experience And describe how senses are affect their sense affect their senses, and then relate a complication that happens in the chosen environment. Another example of a narrative is a folk tale. In this case, we have a folk tale about a grasshopper and an ant. Then when we break it down, we decide what's the title, 
the setting, the complication, solution and comment from that passage. An autobiography is also an example of a narrative. Let's have another look at another lesson. Let's go to exposition. As with other text type lessons, there's an introduction and then an explanation of what is an exposition and the language used. We have a format, which is the introductory statement, which is your author's point of view, then a series of arguments, followed by a conclusion. Our first model of an exposition is about wearing school uniforms, should they be compulsory. So we have our introduction, the first argument, followed by your second argument, and finally a conclusion. Now we go back and we look at our model for that exposition. The statement, uniforms should be compulsory. Our first point was the public can recognise which school you attend. Elaborating on that, students are made more aware of the need to behave appropriately in public places. Our next point was that it is a more economical way of dressing a teenager for the parents. More detail to that, as while it may be an expensive investment at the time, it is a single purchase and a far better option than buying expensive designer labels. And your final statement, in conclusion, I believe that wearing of a school uniform is preferable to any alternative. Advertisements are also examples of expositions. In this case, we are given a passage about the advantages of planting native flora in your garden. We have to click on examples of persuasive writing. They're drought resistant, quick growing, need little attention, very hardy, attract birds, Don't lose many leaves in winter. Able to keep the garden neat and tidy. Don't grow too high. Make an excellent windbreak. And are aesthetically pleasing. Student assessment. Here, where would you find this article? Who do you think the intended audience might be? What effect does the illustration have on you? Features of the features of the article. Our next student worksheet is a scenario, two scenarios. First one about university student who lives next door and likes to party on weekends. The issue would be, should these university, student, university students... Well, the second scenario is your next-door neighbour's a part-time mechanic and he uses the road outside his house to do running repairs on cars over the weekend. Should his neighbours tolerate this situation? Students have to write a response to one of those scenarios. An opinion piece. Wendy's weird whinge. She has strong opinion about 15 year olds not being paid to look after young children. It's her arguments that follow. A 
Another example of an exposition is a newspaper review. In this case, we have an extrovert artist who sliced up a mural using a chainsaw, all in the name of art. This is then followed by the editorial and his point of view. In this case, we have to drag the example the examples language into the box below. And then we have a letter to the editor. In this case, we have to underline the criticisms of the editorial about this artist. Three very different points of view. A useful student exercise is this survival equipment. Students have to decide what equipment they are going to save when their boat is sinking. They're near an island and they have all of these items. They have to choose four of those from the most important to the least important and give reasons. Then they have to report back to the class. I have only shown you snippets of some of the lessons but hopefully I have provided you with an opportunity to see how you can best utilise this software in your classroom. Enjoy.